right, I am excited for this episode, because we're finally getting into stuff we've never done before. So in between episodes, I ground up, look at all this titanium. I got all of this, and I also got a canteen. I bought the canteen blueprint and made a canteen. And what a canteen does is, oh, I, I actually, uh, yeah, we're going to set up the water purifier, and then I'll show you what the canteen does. So we want to make, we have the battery recharger already, obviously. We made that last episode. We have a couple more things we can make now with the titanium we've got. We can make the electric purifier. I made the circuit board for that, didn't I? Where did I, I thought I made the circuit board for that. Where did I put it? Weird. I'll just make another circuit board, I guess. We are out of plastic. Somehow, some way, we are out of plastic. Uh, I guess that means we're crafting other stuff first. Engine controls. And we're going to put these here. And what this does is it allows us to switch the direction of the engines on the ship and turn them on and off at a moment's notice. So we're currently in reverse. So we pull the lever and now we're on forward. And this is the on-off switch. And this is for something we don't get for another few islands. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set course for the next story island, 9965 Varuna Point. Electric purifier. And this has to go off the edge of the raft, like so. We're going to put it here. And we give it the battery. And on its own, without needing any sort of input up, aside from changing the battery every now and then, it'll fill up one... It's actually more than one. It'll fill up this entire meter, more than five, over the course of like a minute or so. But now we need 30 more plastic to make the tank, which isn't necessary, but I'd still like to have it. But anyway, one of, in my opinion, the harder, or at least more stressful story islands coming up in about uh, 1,800 meters. There's a different one. Yeah, Tangaroa again, right there. We went in the other direction from Tangaroa, I think, because... No, we're going pretty well with the wind. I don't know why Tangaroa is in front of us all of a sudden. Probably because it respawned since the last episode, because I, I went a fair distance, but I was still on the Tangaroa frequency, so it probably respawned in front of me-ish. Because, like, if you get too far away from a, an island, it'll despawn. In a story island, if you have it set to the specific frequency of that island, it'll respawn somewhere else. Because it's not like a persistent world where everything has a fixed position. Everything is generated around the raft, and if the raft gets too far from something, it's no longer relevant, and the game unloads it forever. So if you sailed backwards, af after you sail far enough, if you started sailing backwards, you would not encounter the same islands or the same stuff that you did the first time. You would for about, like, a thousand meters, maybe two thousand meters, I think like two thousand five hundred is the threshold. You would for about two thousand five hundred meters, and then it would start being different. Okay, it's full up. Now the canteen is a better water bottle. Instead of holding five, it holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's twice as large. Now we're going to pour this out, because we don't need it anymore. So I think I'm going to research it. Have I re I've researched empty bottles already. So I can make a... I can probably make a breathing mask with this. Oxygen bottle. I need five vine goo for that. I have five vine goo to spare on an oxygen bottle I'm not going to use. No, I do not. Not currently, at least. I gotta smelt it. Why do I always have a single nail in my inventory? No matter how many times I put this away, no matter how many times I, like put it off to the side, no matter how many times I seem to get rid of it, I always have a single nail in my inventory. There. You saw me put it in the chest, right? It's in the chest. I will not be taking that back. Has that just been the same nail this entire time, and I've just been hallucinating putting it away? Because I don't see any other nails, other single nails here. Well, I finally put it away, so... You know, it might be finally time to make a trash can. Because we do have it. 
I know we do. I don't know where it is, but I know we have it. Here it is. Ah, oh, it takes a hinge and some scrap. That's rather expensive for a trash can. But I'll make it anyway. Uh, where are we putting this thing? Let's put it right... No, I don't know. There's no one there. Uh, let's put it... Let's put it here. And we're going to put the cup in there and delete. Also, I'm beginning to question the efficacy of shark dinners. Because I have to kill the shark every single time and it's kind of tedious. So I could just make vegetable soup. With my surplus of beets. I think I might do that, yeah. Make vegetable soup instead, because we've got too many beets and not enough space. Now we can make our water tank. And we're going to slap this down. Oh god, it's big. Now we need a single water pipe. There we go. And that looks like it holds like twice as much as this does, so we've tripled our storage. Now this island features some significant underwater segments. And like the diving portion of Caravan Town, this island is significantly easier with either the breathing mask or the flippers, and even easier with both. But I'm gonna. I'm once again going to do it without either of them. Because I want to prove that it's possible. And that's a thing. I just, I just want to prove that it is, in fact, possible to do. So there's a pretty complicated, like, parkour segment almost to get up there, but I don't need to get up there yet. Or at least I'm going to need to get up there later. I don't actually remember if I need to get up there first or last. I'm going to pretend I need to get up there last. So we're going to jump in here. And you see those jellyfish? They hurt when you touch them and you can't really kill them either. But they go away when the light shines on them. La Huna coin has all too many holes in it. It makes it easy to go unnoticed. Today, I nicked a hammer. Yesterday, I took some dried meat from the foreman's stash. It's less fun taking food, since it spoils, eventually. The watch I got from the loudmouth driller was way more exciting. Uh, I want to grab something even better tonight. And there goes the first spear. I don't have one hit left on it. Also, I'm going to drown... So you can only really get air back at these points. There are there are more in the rooms. I just wasn't under it. It's right there. Like there's the buoys to show you. Owie. Owie. These guys give heads, so I am going to take them. They don't do a lot of damage, even if they are really hard to dodge. And don't mind that screen shake effect. That is part of the game. That is not a bug. Apparently, it's literally designed that way, and you'll see why. It's like foreshadowing or something or other, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. So here's what we need, spotlight parts. I believe we need four of these. I don't know why they're scattered around in these random apartment places. I mean, I guess this isn't really an apartment building anymore. It's like a survival shelter because it's so far above the water. But uh, even that wasn't made to last. So this island is going to be pretty difficult. But I brought that on myself. Okay. Now here's the first area where you can really step out of the water and go up there. But I'm going to explore down here first. That screen shake is actually really annoying. I wish it didn't happen. I don't know the secret to dodging these guys, actually. I think you need the flippers to actually avoid damage from them. I'm gonna drown. Whew. 
So before I move into the next area, I'm going to explore some safer spots and wait for my health to come back. Because it's very difficult to actually avoid them. I think the bow is necessary, or maybe you don't you swim slower backwards or something like that. Armor would probably be useful here. There aren't many more of those guys, though. Nothing in here. Big ol' waste of time. So now we've got three parts. I believe we need four. I know we need more than three at least. So now we're gonna go up here, out of the water. If there are enemies here, these are there are lurkers. Here's four. I might go for five just in case. I'm at least going to explore this whole area for like notes and stuff. Here's five. So if we need five, we've got five. And that's it. All right. Real quick one. Oh, oh. Ah. It doesn't even let you... S oh, got the sharks there. It doesn't even let you swim through those, by the way. It's not even damage. It literally doesn't let you swim out when they're closing in. Also, the shark is here, which is fantastic. Is oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting back on the raft. Gotta swim up or I'll drown. I'm gonna drown probably still. Okay, not just barely. No, don't hit me. Okay, back on the raft. And while we're here, I'm gonna... I don't really... Oh, man, wow. It's full. Alright, sweet, my health's back. Okay, that's, that's like about half as much, I want to say, as the shark dinner, but it's way more than twice as easy to make. Oh, and it's night. Goody. So now we need to... I might want to move the raft back so that I could more effectively avoid the shark. I don't know. Either way... Just gotta deal with the shark. Hey, sharky. Ah, he still got me. That's the last one I'm going to take, though. And that moves these jellyfish away from this hole. And I believe I drown. Yeah, I just drowned. Hold on, there's, there's air bubbles here. Ah, oh my god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I'm getting out, I'm out, I'm out. too close that was too close that was too close that was like one shot protection right there but not one shot obviously because i wasn't getting one shot oh man that was like first death protection right there that's i uh, ugh, i was dead i was dead there i died there i literally i died there um i think i might want to just kill the shark i'm gonna need another spear to do it Oof, God, twice in one episode, man. If that hadn't killed him, he probably would have killed me. If that hadn't killed him, he probably would have killed me. Because I didn't stray fast enough. I'm going to carry this around for a while because I don't have time to sort out inventory solutions. Cause I only have about two minutes before he comes back. So 
these little bubbly areas are water, air bubbles. You can get air from them. Lord knows how. It's just standard video game physics. Doesn't really work that way in real life. So now we swim through this hole that is no longer blocked because the jellyfish hate light for some reason. And we swim through here, and we go to this side of the building, not the other side that I was at earlier. It is dark in here. Not especially dark, though. I'm gonna move through here relatively quickly, because this is really more of an obstacle course than it is a puzzle or like a collection area. We don't work on new floors anymore. Everyone is scared of the grabber. There's talk about leaving before the water gets even higher. Leaving for that other construction project. The one taken over by rafters. They call it Utopia. <laughs> the only Utopia I need is right here. I started to secure the tower. As long as I live, no one will claim my treasure. No one will reach my nest. Okay, there are traps everywhere. Spiky traps. And if you touch them, you get spiky. It's fairly self-explanatory, to be honest. I don't know how I've gotten lost this early. Like, there's nowhere else to go. Like, can I? Oh, I can probably just fit through these bars, can't I? Yep, I can just walk right through these solid bars. That's that's just that is just confusing design. You can walk right through the metal bars because metal bars are normally a sign that you can't go some way. But you can just walk right through them. But watch, I can't walk through these. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, man. This game is making me... F okay. Uh, up here. Okay. Glad I tried that. Because otherwise I would have been stuck there for a long time. Okay, then we've got tripwires. And the tripwires suck because that thing hurts a lot, actually. So you gotta jump over them. And normally, it's supposed to be really dark. Owie. I don't know why the dark areas aren't dark anymore. I, I, I literally, I didn't turn up my gamma, I swear. I can't even find the gamma setting, and my screen brightness is normal. I don't know why it's so bright in these rooms that are supposed to be dark, but it makes it really easy to see the tripwires. There's a chest here. Now you gotta be really careful here, because despite the fact that these are literally just nails nailed into stuff, they do hurt a lot if you even so much as brush them. There we go, slip through that fine. I really don't like the shaking, again, because it makes it feel like I'm taking damage when I'm not. It's just shaking, because the screen also shakes when you take damage. Again, it is foreshadowing, but it's not the kind of foreshadowing that makes you curious. It's the kind of foreshadowing that makes you wonder if there's a bug. I mean, it is doesn't have audio associated with it, so it's obviously like not a bug. But it's the kind of foreshadowing that doesn't really imply anything other than big shakies. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just my opinion. We've got another tripwire here. Perpetually afraid of landing directly on top of those because you really don't move that far in the air. Because I'm walking and not sprinting, I should be sprinting over them. Yep. But I choose not to because I am crazy. I did not take damage there, that was just a perfectly timed rumble. Okay. Now we're gonna slip down here and we're out of the gauntlet. Got a blueprint. The advanced headlight. Yay. Mother load key and a note. We'd be bored these days if the mother load wasn't on the forefront of my mind. And the water stole it from me. Oh, I should have acted sooner. Now there's trouble in the way. It's risky to deal with, but it might be worth it. 
Lightfoot gnaws at me. Ah, but it's just one shark. How hard could it be? How hard could it be indeed? We'll see in a moment. Hey, a bow. Neat. I already have one of those, but it's good to have another one. Oh, titanium. I did not take damage there. It's, see, it's it makes me stop for a second every time I gotta look, look at my health bar. Good amount of resources in the cache here. I might as well grab them, just because I have the inventory for it. Oh, I don't have the inventory for it anymore. Wow. Would you look at that? I'm gonna drop the rocks then. Can't drop the rocks, apparently. There we go. It is getting dark now, which sucks. Because that means it's going to be at that phase where I can't see anything. Okay, so we are here, and the mother load is even lower. Unfortunately, I don't have a I don't have a vision. I cannot see. The sight is beyond me. I am a blind man. So I'm going to wait for the moon to rise so I can actually see where I'm going. So I'm going to head back to the raft and dump some of the stuff out of my inventory. And then we're going to do the thing. TM. Oh man, that's a good drink. The juicer drinks. I really should be getting into the juicer now. It's just it took battery life, so I didn't really want to get into it before. I need I need a better one of these chests. I need a a big a big chest or a medium chest. I need another rope. Oh boy. Because we got a we got a long way to go down, and I want to be sure I'm not getting hounded by the shark, and I can just focus entirely on actually getting down. Where's Sharky? Oh, is Sharky not back yet? Oh no, there he is. <laughs> Didn't get me that time. I wasn't tense enough. Oh, you know what? I expect to die at least once here. I expect me to die. So I'm going to put everything, including my neat hat, my zipline, and my backpack away. I'm going to put the canteen away. I'm going to put these away. I'm going to put all of these tools away because I don't need them. I'm even going to put the drinks away. No, I want to keep the drinks on me just in case. So this is all I am taking down with me. I'm going to take a second vegetable soup. No, I'm not going to take a second vegetable soup. But I'm going to take the spear. There he is. I expect to die. Because this is going to be very difficult. Like, extremely difficult. Like, this is going to be one of the hardest... The, probably one of the hardest things we ever do. Because I am deliberately doing it without the equipment, that makes it way easier to prove that it is in fact possible. You'd think this shark would take the hint eventually and stop trying to kill me. I mean, I get it's a different shark every time. Ow. But like, you'd think, after getting stabbed with the spear like 10, 15 times, he'd stop trying to kill me. I I'm not even going to pick him up. I don't even care. I think that even makes him respawn slower. So we are going to swim, swim, swim. This is probably one of the hardest things we'll ever do in this playthrough. Oh boy. I gotta prepare myself mentally for this. I also gotta be careful getting down there. Because if I go into this with low HP, it's not gonna be good for me. So I'll, I'll state this one more time. Having either the flippers or the breathing mask makes this way easier. Having both makes it even easier. But I am going to do it with neither because I am a psychopath. There's the goal. Or no, it's, it's above, right? It's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Here we are. 
Mother Load Key. I don't have time to stop. I don't even have time to fight them. I... Air, sweet air. Okay, looks like that little chomper guy gave up on me. I keep going. There's another one here. I'm gonna ignore him too. Okay. Here we go. This is the first boss of the of the playthrough. First boss of the game. I'm not even going to pick this up. Because I'm going to lose it to this guy. Hello, sir. That is a rhino shark. Ow. He actually doesn't hurt all that much. So we bust through the wall. He's gonna show up later. There he is across the room. Now I need to bait him into a charge. Nah, too close. The trick to avoiding this guy is literally you, once he starts winding up, you pick a direction and move in it, and then you count to two, one, two, and then change directions. Count two seconds, then change directions. Or, get behind a pillar. Because you know, you gamers know, that every time an enemy charges, the goal of the fight is to get it to charge at a wall and knock itself silly. So now we gotta grab these. And these make you move slower. I think I got it. No, I didn't. Use explosive barrel, okay. Now I gotta get back to the air. Oh my god, get over the lip. We gotta make him hit the same one again. Boom! Explodey in face. Now you just gotta swim up to the next one. The first time I did this, I thought you needed to make him hit all the pillars. But no, you just need to make him hit one. And then you go up. for a minute maybe he's gonna go out one of the doors I think now no? okay, please hit the pillar yes okay and these you need to need him to hit twice hit the same one twice so we're gonna chill on this air until he pops up again there he is one two ah god he got me he, he flings you real far and out he goes again Charge at that pillar. I don't care which one he breaks. Doesn't matter. As long as he gets two hits on the same one at some point. Where is he? The first time he goes through each door, he makes a big boom. Oh god! <sighs> but the second time, because it's already destroyed, he doesn't make any sound at all. So you've really got to stay alert. There he is. Two. Damn it. Okay, hope 
hopefully he'll charge at me again. One. Nope. One. Two. Okay, now that one's bust open. I need air. Ugh, I could have made the swim. Not now, though. There he is. Ugh, not fast enough. Is he going to charge me again, or is he going to go for a door? Okay, he went for a door. Please, 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 please. Okay, I, I placed it. Oh, he, he was behind the other pillar. He hit the other one. Okay, I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's going to try and charge me again. Buddy. You know you want to. Boom. And now up we go. And now there's only the one pillar. If you're close enough to him, you can't dodge him. Okay, out he goes. Air and then we're gonna move up into position. Where'd he come in? I didn't. Okay, there he came in. And I'm pretty sure you need three hits on this one. Ah, damn it. I thought he would hit the pillar. Okay, I need more air. You can see how the breathing masks and the flippers would make this easier. I hope. I love that the fish swim away from him. That's that I've never noticed that before actually. That's great. Two. Bam, one hit. Okay, now I think he's going to go. Yeah, he's going to go out. I got to get air. Okay, back up in the position. Oh, he was behind me the whole time. How? Is he going out again? He is. There he is. Two. And with this pillar, it's reinforced on the bottom and top, so you've got to get him to hit the middle. I knew it. I knew he'd be behind me. He loves to spawn behind me. Okay, he's going to try again because he missed. Okay, now the pillar's open. He's going to go. I got to get air. I got to get God, my health is low. Oh, but I'm so close. Ah, man. Okay, but since he hit me... Yeah, he went out. Okay. Surrender and respawn. And that loses me two thirds of my inventory. But because I only had the one thing, I only lost the one thing. I lost a little bit of durability on my spear too, and the shark is probably back. Ugh, man, I, I really hope it doesn't reset the progress on that. I really hope. The thing is, like, he, he loves to just spawn behind you, and he's completely soundless too. So it's very difficult to properly avoid him. Yeah, it did not reset the progress. Good. So we just need to swim up all the way to the final floor. And just get the last hit. 
on the last pillar of the fight. Ah, I was so close, which makes this kind of anticlimactic. I'm glad you don't have to do it all in one go, though. <laughs> the barrel's still in there. Hello, sir. One, two. The way he goes, but since he missed, he's gonna wind up again. One, two. Ah, damn it. He hit me. I'm gonna drown anyway. Ow, ow, ow. Please, dear God, get me air. Two. Miss me. This is really pitiful. Here, I'm just gonna pay attention to these two, because he comes in with the other two. There he is. Ah, what am I doing? Man, I'm gonna flub the last hit before getting hit even once. to be this is this is sucky this is horrible i don't i can't believe i managed to get through the entirety of the last two phases alive and i'm about to flub the final hit of the third phase he's on the other side of the room though this is perfect two ah he missed Look at all of that shark meat. And a trophy. Uh oh. Oh gods. No, 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 please no. Please, dear god, no, don't do this to me. No 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 Oh Oh that would have been really embarrassing. I thought there was going to be air, like, right on top of here, but there wasn't. Oh, oh there kind of was. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that would have been super embarrassing. Okay. But now we're home free. We are done with Varuna Point. Just one shark. How bad could it be? one hell of a shark. Then we get a blueprint for the wind turbine, a crane key, and a way out, I believe. So the grabber, unfortunately, did not survive the rhino shark. I have the power of resurrection, so I did, after not surviving. I both survived and didn't survive the rhino shark. But I have the power of resurrection, so. And now we're in the lower area. The other side of the first pipe. So, we also got this Rhino Shark trophy. And this thing is friggin' massive. I'm just gonna put it right here. Look at this thing. I'm probably gonna tear that down by the end of the episode because it'll be annoying and in the way. But I'm gonna leave that there for the time being to congratulate my dedicatedness, let's say, to beating the Rhino Shark without the flippers or the breathing mask. Now we can put my hat back on, equip our zipline, get our backpack back, get our resources, because we are no longer in imminent danger of death. So now all that stands before us is one small parkour challenge. The nests are not solid, do not stand on them. One parkour challenge and, like, a handful of workers that I honestly do not have the time for, so I'm just going to completely ignore them. It's not that I don't have the time, really. It's that I don't have the patience. Then you got to go up. This is the frustrating part.
you can just make those with a normal sprint jump. There's no in-air adjustment necessary. So those are all normal sprint jumps. It looks like you're going to overshoot, but you aren't. It took me a while to get that down. I didn't realize. But once you realize it's just a normal sprint jump, it's it's easier. But at this point, we're kind of getting to like getting over at levels of parkour here, where if I fail one jump, I fall all the way back down to the bottom. But luckily, the jumps aren't that hard. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Okay, and now that we've got the crane key... We can just, uh... Yeah, this probably isn't important. Hooray! Wanton destruction. That's actually extra funny in the context of, like, the, the in-universe world. Because our character has absolutely no idea what's below that part of the roof. When people come by, they don't stay for long. Why? Well, probably because I keep stealing their stuff. Today, it was a man named Ruben and a boy named Deto. They were caught in a storm and needed supplies. When they fell asleep, I nicked a whole set of tools. <laughs> Crude stuff, but still good. In the morning, they were so freaked out, they sailed away immediately. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. So the, using the crane to just demolition that entire rooftop is kind of funny in... Oh, wait, hold on. In the context of, like, the universe. There's a zip line here. Because, like... The character has absolutely no idea what's below that roof, so they just randomly decide, hey, let's just drop a ton of bricks on this roof and see if it smashes through. <laughs> and it just so happens to punch through in a traversable manner in a way that leads right down to this particular room with an intact blueprint and note for the next island. And also we got the advanced battery and electric grill blueprints here on this particular island. Which is just hilarious, because, like, how the hell did they know? It's, like, on the on almost the bottom floor, too, with a way out. Obviously, it's 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 game mechanic. Game mechanic go burr, but, like... <laughs> in the, it's always funny to think about those things in the context of the story itself. Okay, now we're on the opposite side of this building. There's the crane. There's our raft. Gotta prepare for imminent shark attack. Approaching shark edge. Ow! Approaching from behind, apparently. Jerk. The sharks have learned stealth tactics. Uh, yeah. Well, now we've got the electric grill and advanced battery blueprints. Uh, I can actually probably research those before we end this episode. Advanced battery takes titanium. The wind turbine takes titanium. And the electric grill, you guessed it, takes titanium. And so does the advanced headlight, for that matter. Which is kind of annoying, because titanium is so hard to get. But the electric grill, I don't think it's necessary, because we aren't grilling anything anymore. The advanced battery also isn't really necessary. Because it's just, it's like, double the capacity of a normal battery, I think. But it's really not too important. Especially because we're going to need one for, like, every single thing. And it's four titanium each. Yeah, no. No way. Nope. Nuh-uh. But, uh, the wind turbine... Only four titanium, and four circuit boards, but only four titanium and a bit of rope and planks. And uh, it is basically, it's free battery recharging. It's like the, the biofuel battery recharger, but it doesn't take biofuel. So yeah, uh, that's it. That was Varuna Point. I am just about tapped out for Raft for the day, and just about out of time, coincidentally enough. I do not want to throw my vegetable soup, thank you. I want to put it in this slot in the heart bar. Heart, heart bar. So, I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.